over the last several years, we're all very aware of our carbon footprint, um, energy efficiency, and sort of where we're, we're getting our energy um, and how we're using it. But kind of less aware are we of, of uh, the scarcity in our water usage. Um, so I think, you know, we've seen over the last year many states actually implementing bans on water, um, the worst drought, they're having the worst droughts in their, you know, history. This is due to many factors, including the changing weather patterns, increased demand for water for energy production, um, and increased population. Basically, people think that, you know, you turn the faucet on, you get water. It's, it's, it's a very cheap and plentiful resource when really, um, you know, it should be looked at as a much, a much um, more valuable thing. With scarcity comes innovation. Like other industries, including renewable energy, there are entrepreneurs working on technologies and solutions to these problems. These include wastewater treatment, desalination, um, smart technology, and software around water usage. WJ has always worked with companies that are leading the way in innovation. So we're very familiar with the risks associated with these companies as they grow. These can include risks associated with their professional services, their products, environmental liability, as well as intellectual property and loss of income. Another area is contract negotiation. If, when they enter into contracts with these larger companies, they can certainly assume risks. And finally, we're very familiar with the insurance companies that are interested in these types of risks, how to present them to the insurance companies, and how to negotiate terms, conditions, and pricing that is favorable.